In this tutorial, we learn how to write simple expressions in their fully factored form, and we're going to do so by working through a couple of examples. The first example is the one we see here. We have the expression 6x plus 15, and we need to write this in its fully factored form. To do that, we can follow two steps. The first step, step 1, is to find the highest common factor of all of the terms in the expression. Now, the highest common factor is also known as the greatest common divisor, but I'll just write find HCF, as in highest common factor. And perhaps you're able to state what the highest common factor of 6x and 15 is. If not, though, you can always use the following method. We start by writing all of the terms as products of their factors. Here's what I mean. I can state that this equals to 6x, which as a product of its factors would be 2 times 3 times x, plus 15, and 15 written as a product of its factors would be 3 times 5. Now that that's done, to find the highest common factor, all we have to do is underline all of the factors that both of these terms have in common. And looking at these two terms, it doesn't take us too long to see that the only factor that they have in common is 3. So we can write highest common factor, or HCF, equals to 3. And that's our first step done. Now that we have the highest common factor, we move on to step 2. And in step 2, we're going to write this expression in its fully factored form using the highest common factor. So I'll just write factorize using the highest common factor, or HCF. And here's how we do that we can state that this expression equals to the highest common factor, which remember was 3, times, in parentheses, all of the terms that we didn't underline in the first term. So those would be 2 and x. So in these parentheses, we write 2 times x, which is 2x. We now make a note of the operation between the two terms, and in this case, they're being added. So I write that as well. I write a plus sign in the parentheses. Finally, we look at the second term, and we can see that the only factor that hasn't been underlined is 5. So I write that in those parentheses, and I close the parentheses. And we're done. We've just written this expression, 6x plus 15, in its fully factored form. That's 3 times, in parentheses, 2x plus 5. Indeed, if we were to expand these parentheses by distributing this 3, we would find that it equals to 6x plus 15. Okay, let's look at a slightly more complicated example. Say we're given 6x squared minus 12x, and we're asked to write this expression in its fully factored form. Well, to do that, the method doesn't change. Indeed, we can still follow the same two steps that we've just seen. Remember, those were step one, we need to find the highest common factor of all the terms in the expression. In other words, we need to find the highest common factor of 6x squared and 12x. And one way of doing that is to write each of these two terms as a product of its factors. And to do that, we would write the following. We can state that this equals to 6x squared, which as a product of its factors would be 2 times 3 times x times x, minus 12x, which as a product of its factors would be 2 times 2 times 3 times x. And now the highest common factor will be the product of all of the factors that these two terms have in common. So we start by underlining all the factors that they have in common. And looking at these two expressions, we can see that they both have a 2, they both have a 3, and they both have an x. And that's all that they have in common. Consequently, we can state that the highest common factor is 2 times 3 times x. Those are all the factors that these two terms have in common. So that's highest common factor equals to 2 times 3 times x, which is 6x. Now that we have the highest common factor, we can move on to step 2, and in step 2 we write the expression in its fully factored form using the highest common factor, 6x. So I'll just write factorize using HCF. And here's what that would look like. We can state that this equals to the highest common factor, which is 6x, 
times, in parentheses, all the factors that we didn't underline in the first term. So that would be x. So I just write x. We now make a note of the operation between the two terms, and in this case we can see that the second term is being subtracted from the first. So we add a minus sign inside those parentheses. Finally, looking at the second term that we have here, we can see that the only factor that wasn't underlined was this 2 that we have here. So I write that inside the parentheses, and I close the parentheses. And we're done. We've just written 6x squared minus 12x in its fully factored form, and that is 6x times, in parentheses, x minus 2. And once more, let's say we wanted to check that we have the right answer. Then all we would have to do is distribute this 6x across the parentheses, and we'd find that we'd fall back on the original expression 6x squared minus 12x, which would confirm that this is indeed correct. And there we have it. That's how we can write simple expressions in their fully factored form using the highest common factor. And that's it for this tutorial.